Boom! Back at it. JR here with another nocturnal review. Early nocturnal review. Time done change. So it's earlier time, but the same things going on. Today I got this nice little jewel I found. Right here. You can see that. That is the Lunatic uh, Torch by JFR. Um, recent news, 2021 edition, I think it came out uh, April or May. Um, cigar is uh, Nicaragua mixed with a little bit of Jalapa, if you know Jalapa. Um, I think it's a, I'm not sure where it is, Mexican Nicaraguan region. But it's been in, in a lot of cigars within like the past uh, four or five years. Um, overall, the cigar um, has kind of a very strong taste. I'm at the last third. I always come on here at the last third. Got a ragged kind of start to it, that ragged foot that you see with some cigars. Uh, that makes for kind of a little bit of a messiness when you light it up. And it kind of burns uneven a little bit. Um, but as far as the taste, um, strong notes, very strong notes. Some barnsy, woodsy smell, taste. Aroma's pretty good. Um, some chocolate hints. Um, kind of, I guess you could say, as they like to say in those cigar review books, little leathery notes. I don't know what the hell leather tastes like, but anyway, that type of taste, um, it really hits hard when you cut it on, um, not a lot of sweetness, um, some saltiness, some spiciness, um, overall it's a great cigar I would say, um, definitely, um, enjoying it so far, let me light it up real quick, so you can see it. Immediately I'm tasting a little bit of saltiness, kind of like a seasoned salt flavor. Um, um, but nice with the palate, just enjoying it with like a bottle of a uh, little cup of water so I can get the full taste of it. Good pull. Like I said, there's a little messiness as you can see. Kind of burns, kind of uneven. Um, like I said, a real seasoned salt type of taste to it. So it's got some saltiness, spice, not a jalapeno spice, but like a gall, salty, garlicky kind of taste. And this is made by the JFR line. Here for here for like a North Leaf, um, and uh, you know I, I like I like JFR, um, one of my favorite cigars in the modern era. Um, so I, I expected a good deal. I usually didn't like the old Lunatic. Uh, I stuck with this size. It's my size. You know I don't I don't do the big. Uh, 70 gauge, 60 gauge, I'm a 52 kind of guy. Um, goes out a little bit, um, kind of goes out some points. Um, but uh, overall, um, really a strong six and a half. Um, not bad, good smoke. Strength-wise, though, um, medium to full. Uh, some parts feel like it's all full on, full body. Like this last third is fully, fully strong. You know? But um, well, it's got a consistent saltiness to it. Very weird. Very weird. Let me wash my palate out. Um, 
what's the news this week? Um, Travis Scott incident. Uh, Travis Scott had his annual um, concert fest in the city of Houston. Um, things got kind of rowdy. Apparently, uh, a couple of stampedes. People got stampeded. Um, ended up being eight people killed. And uh, the issue is, Travis Scott is up there performing, and I'm sure you can see this, and he's not yelling to stop the show. Um, but people, they have footage of people coming up on stage trying to tell them to stop the show. They're being told to get off the stage. And uh, it's a big issue. It's a big issue. Uh, you know, they're going to try to put the blame on him. I don't think that was really his issue. Um, maybe he should have stopped the show, but apparently they're saying some people may have been injected with different needles. Um, who knows, man. But it's your regular out of control concert. Uh, I personally don't really listen to that type of hip hop. I'm more of a '90s, 2000s, '80s guy. So I, I you know, fan of Houston rap definitely, but not this. Never listened to Travis Scott day in my life. I know a couple of his songs, but he gonna get to put the blame. They gonna put the blame on him, you know, uh, brother. All the victims, I think, are white kids. Because that's who listens to Travis Scott, you know. Um, so his brother's going to get lynched. <laughs> He's going to get lynched. He's in deep doo-doo. Um, so I don't know what he, what type of lawyer he has. Because they're going to sue his ass. That is his uh, concert, and it's, I think it's up to nine, eight, nine, ten bodies. So he's gonna take the L on that, man. So sucks for you, Travis. I'm sorry. Um, I don't know what to tell you, man. Uh, you gotta get a lot of lawyer up, man. You know he's all on the uh, social media today, crying and stuff like that. But they don't want to hear that, man. You know? Don't know what to tell you, Travis, man. Good luck with that, man. It's eight bodies. Some people are saying it was a ritual. I believe it all. It could be that, too, man. You know, stuff is weird nowadays. And uh, it's a weird time we're living in. So who knows, man? Other than that, uh, another week of football, my Hurricanes, they did three in a row, uh, so we're looking up, we finally got a quarterback, the Gators got blasted, I don't know what's going on up there, a South Carolina, of all teams, who a team I ain't seen, ain't thought about since the, maybe late, early 2000s? Unless you lost their close one to Alabama. You know, Alabama's still Alabama, but they look normal now. Uh, I'm not sure if Clemson won. They look at normal now, too. So, things going waves. Everybody's hoping that they think of Georgia, but I think Georgia uh, will still lose to Alabama. You know, I think with them it's psychological, and they really just don't have the cojones. Tuscaloosa. But again, they have the chance. They've had the chance at least the last five years to go to a title game. Half of five great backs in a row they've had. And they never won it. So they keep you being given the chance by the most high. So we'll see what's happened. Other than that, um, NFL Chiefs looking normal. Uh, 
uh, they just escaped. Uh, the Broncos blasted the Cowboys. And um, what else is going on? Uh, also, NBA, Miami Heat looking good. And the Lakers are looking bad. Uh, it's time for Westbrook. Uh, I don't know what the hell's going on here, man. He's trash. Anyway, the Heat, though, looking fire. Watched him last night. He got the new, um, I forgot what you call those jerseys, the new, new thing jerseys, looking good. They on fire, man. And they still got to have the saltiness to it. Mm. Like season salt. Anyway, um, yeah, so... That's really the updates. What's going on in the world right now? Um, we got the random. Uh, still got the mask debate on the COVID that never ends. And Aaron Rodgers was uh, suspended this week um, for not taking a shot. You know he apparently fucked some some things to keep playing, but. Um, Kyrie Irving gets destroyed in the media for not taking the shot. So it's just uh, another double standard, but we're not going to call it what it is. We know what it is. So that is what it is. So what can we say? Um, that's all I got to say. But uh, Lunatic, uh, Torch by JFR, Aganorsa, not a bad smoke. You like a little saltiness on your palate. Try to have a little water with it, maybe some sweet to complement it. Um, but yeah, good smoke, uh, six and a half, I would say. And um, definitely recommend this. I recommend it. Can't say definitely, man. It's up to you how you feel about Lunatic. And uh, if that's your cup of tea. Anyway, like, share, subscribe. I'm out. Mm.